<sighs> oh, I'm fucking tired as shit. <clears throat> Is that a surprise? I'm in bed. All right. Why the fuck did I start yelling? Okay, guess what? We're not doing uh, I'm out of breath. Not out of shape, but I'm out of breath. <sighs> We're not doing self-deprecation anymore. <coughs> 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 We're not doing self-deprecation anymore. We're post-self-deprecation. Why did I take you to bed with me, though? It begs the question, right? Especially, are you fucking tired? I, I'm gonna give a speech right now. I'm gonna read the fucking Magna Carta from memory right now. No. No, I was just thinking. Uh, but this is ridiculous. It's amazing how many uh, how many hours of my day are committed to uh, things related to being sick. I'm not even sick anymore. Look, I've been playing hockey. <clears throat> But that's the problem. I went and I played hockey when I was like almost better. I'm out in the cold for two and a half hours. Street hockey, mind you. I'm out in the cold for two and a half hours. Sweating my balls off. <sighs> yeah, doing well for the longest. But God, man, the, uh, the amount of time invested in uh, just daily of like drink more DXM make an onion poultice and put it on my chest for 40 minutes, endless cups of tea, soup, fill, refill the fucking humidifier. See this goddamn cloud? Take more cough drops, buy more, like the amount of time and money spent to just go into the store and just re-upping on like cough, chest rub. Right now, I'm not wearing any pants. Don't wait, what, what? What am I talking about? All right. I'm wearing socks. I'm wearing this shirt because I got Vicks or some other off-brand uh, vapor rub all over my chest. And I got the socks. I'm wearing the socks with the, uh, I put the Vicks vapor rub on my feet. All right, rather than be self-deprecating and um, talking about how bad and boring this video is, I guess I'll just move on. Uh, let me conclude the sickness by saying, the only thing I got going on is a cough at this point. God damn, the motherfucker won't won't leave me. Ugh. It's like you cough so hard you see spots. You try not to cough, but then you can't fucking breathe. You cough, and then it hurts in the middle. Like, what's in the middle? I don't fucking know. But I'm lifting weights again. I'm playing hockey. I'm living. I think I'm gonna like straight. I'm gonna have to contact this one doctor in St. George this week. Got the end from the from the Kate Daly show. It's supposed to be a good like <coughs> naturopath, holistic. What am I? All right, all right. Hey, I don't have to be mean to myself. Don't be mean to your brother. All right. You know what I wanted to talk about tonight? Let me see if I can get a new angle for you here. Loneliness. <laughs> for real though, that is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, you you know I spent a lot of time alone. It's not that there aren't people who I could call up and spend time with. Can you relate to this? There's people who, maybe more than one, who would love to see you, would love to spend some time with you, hang out with you, go do something, anything. But instead, you stay alone. You say, no, I just want to stay alone. <laughs> comfortable in your, in your life. You're comfortable in your, in your misery. I don't know, I didn't feel miserable today. But I was lonely. Really, what? Who's that? Cerulean? Oh no, it's Bok Bok. Come and give me a message. Um, you have no idea how many fucking blanket folk are chilling. I don't know if you can see that. It's just like ridiculous. There's some things I guess I don't want to talk about on here because they're, I don't want to say too personal. But you know, people get hurt if you talk about certain things. What people? Wow, this is abstract. Is that what happens when you go to, you're go to you trying to go to sleep and you turn the camera on? Now, let me just get back to the loneliness. I haven't wandered that far off track. The loneliness. I wonder, I wonder, like, what is it like when you, when you go to bed with your wife? I was once legally married. It was really just, you know, my girlfriend. 
slash best friend slash partner. So I guess I remember what that's like. Why don't I think of that when I think of... You know why? Because I have an image in my head of what other people's relationships are like. <coughs> I have an image of like what a married couple is, what a married life is with a house and kids and a car, two cars. What is this, the 1950s suburban dream? No, I know people who have wives. If the, if two people, if they're still watching this video, two that I know of have wives. It's a, but it sounds so impossible to me. It sounds impossible. What do I mean by that? It's been a long time since I have uh, had what would traditionally be termed a successful, re healthy relationship, okay? In the traditional sense. And I say that traditional, healthy, functional. It's not anybody's fault. Where, there's fingers pointing at me? I don't know. This is this is abstract. I must there must be some things I don't really want to talk about. And I guess that's okay. I'm gonna have to change that though. I think I have to just be able to talk about anything, right? <coughs> <coughs> I just I guess I just wanted to say it gets it was a weird lonely day and a few people I wanted to chat with didn't pick up their fucking phone, which I totally understand. Um I changed the wheels on my rollerblades. Went to the, the good Thai restaurant. There's really only like one really good Thai restaurant in this fucking shithole town. I'm sorry. St. George is kind of a shithole in a lot of ways. Like, it's really beautiful. It's got all the nature, but there is just, it's fucking broken. In a functioning sense, like the restaurants are fucking broken. <sighs> Some Christmas lights. Yeah, so I went to the Thai restaurant at 8.30. They weren't answering their phone. And I was like, uh, I think I know what this means. Even though it's never happened. And I went in there, 8.30, they closed at nine. And they didn't, they were like, oh, we're not taking any more orders. And I want to be like, motherfucker, close your doors then. Have it say 8.30 is the fucking cutoff time, not nine o'clock. Anyhow. Uh, then I went to home. What I'm gonna, and then I went to Home Depot, and then I put the key in the ignition. But rather, I, I had the key fob in my pocket, and hit start, and then oh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You know what? I always, my de facto mode is to hate myself, to ridicule myself. Wow, this light, it looks like I'm fucking bald. Wow, I hope that never happens. <clears throat> Did I have anything? Anything else remarkable to say about being lonely? I don't know. I want to go. I'm taking some trips. I'm going to Walnut Creek to visit my cousin, Uncle Joe. I'm going to go to Michigan. I want to go to New York. I want to go to St. Louis. I need a little trip. <clears throat> Started working on a new record, by the way, which is interesting. I want to call it War Criminal because I like war criminals. I've been thinking about war criminals a lot lately. They're kind of like the most badass type of criminal, right? A war criminal? Anyhow, the shit is heavy. I'm just making some heavy stuff. I'm having fun, I'm not tripping out about it. Probably mix it myself. Can't put any more fucking money in that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, the days really stretch out though when you just, you know what? This, I think this is true. <clears throat> I got a call from a buddy of mine in Macomb County Jail today. Twice we chatted. I chatted with a few different people. That much is true, including my dad, too. But you know what? I didn't talk to a single human being in person other than the Home Depot lady who helped me buy these uh, lock washers. <clears throat> yeah, I texted with some people, but I'm talking face-to-face in-person actual contact with the fucking human being. I didn't, uh, I didn't have any of that. And you know what? It's weird. It's weird. We're not meant to live that way. It's not where we came from. <clears throat> if I, <clears throat> if I could, uh, generate enough interest, I would go like Google the history of being a hermit. 
which is not what I want, by the way. And again, look, sometimes I go to a 12-step related drug and alcohol recovery meeting. I go to hockey every Thursday. I don't know, though. <clears throat> You've heard me say it before, and I'm going to say it again. It's I'm just not sure I can fucking kick it in this town anymore. You know? Um, been thinking about my own death lately. Uh, not that I wish to fucking make it happen. I definitely would, like, want to live. I hope they fucking get life extension technology, not just for, like, mega rich people, but for everybody, and then can live to be like a couple hundred years because that'd be fucking dope. But <clears throat> I think right now the actuarial table say around 82. My motherfuckers check it out long before that. It's fucked up. Oh. Well, guess I don't know what the... Is that always what it is? It's like, what was the point of this video? No, but that's a valid question. What the, like, what, what was the point of anything? Why do you do anything? That's a Homer Simpson quote. There's one point where, uh, I don't remember, I think something they're making it, she, Marge makes a dinner and then they switch it for some reason and like he has to take, Homer takes the plates and like smashes them or like throws all the food in the garbage. And she was like, why did you do that? And he goes, why does anybody do anything, Marge? I gotta say it's pretty valid. <clears throat> I heard a good Japanese proverb today. Ooh, it's, uh, there's nothing more costly than something that has no price. <clears throat> Does that ring true? <coughs> I guess it's probably not good for me to fucking talk. I'm not sad. I'm not crying. Maybe I'm a little sad. I'm not, like, crying, though. I got a cat. Ugh fucking for a while. I'm not like crying. I haven't done that in a long time. I have to get your heart broken to do that. <laughs> hmm. Is there a connection? I haven't cried in a long time because you have to get your heart broken to do that. But I'm lonely all the time. <laughs> See where I'm going with that? I'm lonely all the time because I don't want to get my heart broken. <sighs> I just want cat hair in my mouth and to sleep alone every night. Do I make a joke? Do I say, well, not every night? Because there's cats here. Is that what I meant? Look, we don't do, we don't do personal, personal life on here. We do a little talky, walky, a little sippy, whippy, a little whoopy, coopy. You know, I haven't taken drugs in over two years. I haven't drank in over two years. That's personal. Doesn't have to do with my personal life per se, but it's pretty personal. What's the point of saying that? You know what? Time to turn the video off. Another pointless video. Oh, again, I don't have to be self-deprecating for no reason whatsoever. It's not necessary. Learn to love yourself. Do you love yourself? I mostly don't. I'm on the other side of the spectrum of uh, hating myself. You familiar with that? <sighs> well, it's kind of sad. <clears throat> At least I think it's kind of sad that <clears throat> I was so lonely that I just wanted to turn on the camera and say, I've been lonely all day. And I'm lonely tonight. Hmm. What is life, you know? What is anything? <clears throat> All right. I guess I'm going to turn the Christmas lights off go to sleep. Bye.